Well, I'm Mike. Uh, this is Jess. We call him Slim Shetty, and they call me Hangry, or Hangry. the Vinyl Vixen. We are Rap Sesh. We are Rap Sesh. So okay, we're the constantly. Mike and Hangry Show. Most, uh, most customers that work with us when we do mobile jobs and stuff, they know that uh, if we're coming to bring us snacks. So as long as I'm well fed and happy, then the job goes well. Like, okay, so the last job that we went to last night, we were doing like an 85 foot wall mural. And I walk out of the shop with like a Home Depot bucket and Tony's like, oh, where, you going to Home Depot? I was like, no, this is my snack bucket. And he's like, what do you mean a snack bucket? Like, where are you going? I'm like, oh, I'm going on a job. Like, I need snacks, I need to be prepared because what if in the middle of the night I get hungry? Like, I'm not gonna work well. Uh, well, I was a mechanic before this all happened. I uh, went to UTI, graduated from there, I uh, got my two-year degree, started at Lexus and worked my way up and I was a full-line tech at Lexus for, was probably worked there for five years or so. And then I got bored and I was, I just wanted to do something more customized, you know, something to do to, with cars that are more visual. I got bored of wrenching every day on the same exact oil changes. I just decided to find something else and I found vinyl installing and got on with a, a shop that was willing to train me and uh, you know bring me on with no experience and from then on I, I just picked it up really well and started going through different shops and you know finding where I wanted to work and just realized that I wasn't going to be happy anywhere that you know I couldn't do my own thing because it, it was very restricting in the industry of what we can do. I don't know, how, how far in were you? A couple of years in? It was like three years ago is when we met. Yeah, about um, halfway through. And I was like breeding reptiles at the time. Like I was dancing, I we was doing all sorts together. of stuff. Yeah, I was, I was just going with whatever, whatever I wanted. And um, when we met, it, you know, he was at a really nice high-end shop working and it appealed to me. Obviously the cars, you know, are fabulous and the lifestyle and everything. But I also saw that there weren't a lot of girls in the industry. There, you know, there wasn't, a female presence really as far as the installers and stuff so I just decided I was gonna go in there and swoop in here and and shake the game up a little bit so three years ago was when I started apprenticing under him and um, I just took off from there and we learned a lot of like really we focused on color changes and detailed stuff at our last shop so that kind of set me towards what we're doing now and then uh, just about a year and a half ago we ended up kind of walking out of there um, had some disagreements and stuff and wanted to do our own thing and that's how we started Rap Sesh. Yeah, when you're in different shops, um, a lot of times like even with color changes, they don't let you take off what we take off, you know. The bumpers, handles, mirrors, lights, seals, a lot of them you might only take handles and mirrors off for a color change and then you're you're wrapping that car in a two or three day turnaround. Yeah. That, that's all you have, you know? Yeah. And with our wraps, you know, even if we're doing like a two door coupe and an exterior color change, we're still spending five days on that vehicle. You know, and we're taking, if it can come off, it's coming off and we're wrapping around. Um, and so just being in other shops, you were really limited on um, how much detail you were allowed to go into, how much time you had, um, your creativity aspect, a lot of places, you know, you don't have customers um, that are giving you free range and just say, here's some colors, do what you want. And that's what we get here and that's what we really that's like. What we love to do. But more than anything, we, do, we just don't like having our quality restricted. Definitely. We both definitely have strengths and weaknesses. We definitely have to play to each other's strengths. Yeah. Um, so like, obviously, like Michael was saying, he's a mechanic. Um, so he usually, we, we just have to time our projects out right. So usually he'll do all the disassembly and I do all the smart math stuff. So I, I pre-measure the whole car, get it all plotted out. I know down to the very inch how much material we're using before I even touch that car. So I usually get all of that cut out and ready to go um, while he gets all the disassembly done and then we wrap it together and then while he's 
putting everything back together, I'm usually doing the little things like handles and mirrors. Um, that's usually what I do really well in is the very technical stuff. And he does more better with the big things like uh, big full pulls on bumpers and things like that that you need to have a lot of hands and be able to stretch a lot of material. The thing that we kind of bank on at our shop is that none of us actually have certifications. So there's three of us installing, you know, Michael and Volvo have been doing it for seven, eight years. I've been in it three or four years now. And none of us have ever had any formal training. We've only done an apprenticeship style, just learn, um, from... learn on your own time, perfect your trade, and then get paid. And yeah. that's, that's how we've learned it. So we've never had any sort of formal certifications or trainings. Really. But obviously, I mean, we're doing something right. So well, it's... Our, our work speaks for itself, our quality works, and what we're doing works. So we're gonna share that with you guys. And if you like it, you like it. If you don't agree with it, you don't. You might, you might hear something that we say and it's gonna be against everything that you've been taught in these certifications or everything that you've ever thought about vinyl and you've been installing it for 20 years. And that's fine. You're, you might not like what I say and that, that's okay. But I'm gonna share um, what we're doing because it works for us and a lot of people um, seem interested in learning that really detailed color change and stuff and they're not getting it in these courses or I, I don't know. A lot know. of people don't teach full coverage color changes. They don't teach you how to take everything off there. and Nobody rip it all down. That. And so right. that's what we're coming out and showing people how to do that next step. We're trying, trying to, to show the people to the level. alternate side because yeah. a lot of, I feel like a lot of the coursework and the goals of a shop is to is your profits. How much money are you making? How fast can you do it? And, and that a shop is needs that. that is really important. You are important. you're running a business, but there's also the, the other end. The type of business we run is what's the end product? What's we that want end our product? End product to be perfect. What is that piece of art? I want to make no that car a one-off thing that nobody else has. What did? What is that piece of art? Facebook and <laughs> Facebook we Facebook and Instagram we have the wrap sesh which is our shop page, Raps AZ, and then um, the Vinyl Vixen Raps which on Facebook. Which I'm gonna try to keep up a little bit better, the Raps Sesh page. I'm pretty bad at that. Right, so, and then the Vinyl Vixen uh, Raps, and then we have our YouTube channel, which is Raps Sesh, so.